all this is intuitive part, tarot, and what we have here in the central energy is a completion. We have the world and the upright. So it's a completion of fulfillment with something is finished. Um, the challenge is there is some competition that is still in the um, atmosphere. In the subconscious, we have Page of Wands reversed. So this is somebody who has lack of direction. They're creating conflict. But <clears throat> it looks like you're going to have victory over this. And you'll have... Uh, new beginnings or this is in the subconscious and this is your intentions somebody's creating conflict here this challenge is competition they're creating conflict but yeah you're gonna have you're gonna have victory over that and you're gonna re you're gonna have uh, new beginnings this is the end of the this is the end of the cycle <clears throat> In the recent past, we have the Three of Cups reversed. So it could be that um, there was a group of people who were partying and overindulging. Like, whatever this was, it, they weren't able to complete whatever it was they were working on. There was no harmony within the group. They were gossiping amongst each other. and uh, But they were coming as competition for you as you were closing out your cycle. Their intention and expectation... was to have you in a dreadlock. In the near future, in the near future, we've got the Eight of Cups reversed. So they're going to, they want to try and uh, one more time, they, they have a fear of change. They're, they're fearing loss. But this cycle is, it's done. But there is still somebody here creating conflict in, the, in your subconscious. So in the mind state, in the, in the state of consciousness, it could very well be in the dream state too. You're having some, some sort of conflict. So they're trying one more time. They're aimlessly drifting. They're, they're indecisive. They are avoiding this change. And the lens they're looking through <clears throat> is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So they lost their opportunity. They missed their chance. They weren't able to stop this completion for you. They made a bad investment. They, they didn't plan well. In the environment, in the environment, we have temperance. So balance is being restored for you. You could have been challenged by this group of people for some time. Seven, three, ten years. But balance is being restored. Harmony is being restored. Moderation. Man, all this stuff is like way out of balance. So in the um, hopes and fears... Well, this one came out more this way than the other way. So we have the Magician Upright. So there's um, action being taken. 
manifesting, somebody's manifesting, somebody's very confident in their manifestation skills, they're starting a new project, they're standing in their power, they're um, a creative person, and in the outcome, <clears throat> we have the star, the star, so yeah, you're the star. You're going to be getting renewal, spiritual, um, good, you know, fortune. It's good fortune. Rejuvenation. Star. Rejuvenation. And here we have... Um, there's a financial loss on the outgo out outgoing energy. So this could be for these challengers and for these Three of Cups reverse who missed their chance, who lost their opportunity to put you in a deadlock, to put you in this difficult crossroads. So they're going to be experiencing financial loss and isolation and poverty. They're going to be experiencing what it's like to be insecure. So there's a completion here. Cycle, cycle is closing. It's time to celebrate life. Someone else, someone is in the middle, someone is trying to sabotage this, so yeah, you have a cycle ending and somebody's trying to sabotage this, they're coming in and, and competing with you over this closing cycle, they want your new cycle, they were fighting with you for this, but it's yours. They're in the middle of trying to sabotage it. They want to sabotage the completion for you. So your challenge is this competition. This competition who's in honeymoon phase, they're like, no, they want it. They want this honeymoon. They want this, you know, beautiful new beginning. They want it. They're, they're in competition for it. They want your new beginning. They're trying to sabotage it for you. So they have a lack of direction and they're creating conflict. But you will gain victory and public recognition over this. And you will also receive new beginnings. And um, this beautiful new opportunity. Uh, these people here, they're, they're a bunch of liars. Whatever they've been doing, they lack, they're, they're creating conflict. So they're lying, they're telling lies, they're doing whatever they can to cause conflict. So there's this group of people who are heavy partying, um, they weren't able to complete or um, to manage um, a, to manage to be successful with whatever it was they were doing. They got told no. They received a big no, um, whatever it was they were doing, to try to put you in this deadlock, this crossroads, this difficult decision. Oh, so there's a. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, who will be traveling soon.
it could be that this is a difficult decision. In the near future, we have your competitors trying one more time. They're, um, they're, they have a fear of change, a fear of loss. They're avoiding this new, this new cycle. They're aimlessly drifting. They're very indecisive. They don't really know what to do. They're just kind of drifting at this point, um, throwing their energy wherever they feel it, it might do some good. Um, this expect to hear from them soon they're going to be back so whoever um, if you've been experiencing some um, difficulties with the person who's competing with you or who's challenging you or who's very defensive around you um, who wants to control you who wants this honeymoon Phase. They want this honeymoon phase. They want this magnificent new beginning that you've got coming to you. They're going to come back because it looks like, you know, they have a lack of direction. They were creating conflict and, and they're a liar and you, you recognized it and you had a victory over whatever it was that they were doing to you. And you are, you are going to be getting this new beginning, but they're going to be back in the new, in the new beginning or the near beginning. They're going to be trying one more time. They just can't let it go. But they lost their opportunity. They missed their chance. They didn't plan well. They're narcissists. Who is coming after your new beginning? This, um, ooh, there's two cards here. Yeah. They're, they were coming after your new beginning. You're going to be birthing something in this new cycle. And it's going to be um, beautiful. And this narcissist was who was really full of themselves lost their opportunity to steal this new cycle. Yes, luck is on your side. So they, they were not able to, this narcissist was not able to steal your new beginning or um, to interfere with what you will be creating in your next phase in your honeymoon phase the honeymoon phase they were trying so desperately to steal from you so by maybe by telling lies trying to get other people to be unsupportive or something I don't know but in the environment there's balance being restored and harmony you were very sensible you could be an you can be an air sign. You could potentially be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But you could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or either that, a fire sign is the challenger, the one who is trying to stop you from moving forward into your new cycle, into your honeymoon phase. So um, there's lots of manifestation going on, lots of clarity. The, the beginning of new projects. So here we have let go, make room for the new beginning on its way to you. But it came out in the reverse. So what's happening is... Somebody is having difficulty letting you go, so patience is required. Um, you know, good things come to those who wait. You're the star. <clears throat> You're the star. date night who could be get um get get ready to be wined and dined so it could be that when all this clears up you meet somebody and you make a commitment
And because um, this says they'll be back, expect to hear from them soon. They're having difficulty letting you go. They, they figure, maybe they figure that it um, just requires a little bit of patience. And maybe this date night is them actually attempting to get into your space, into your calm, into your sanctuary, you know, that of your mind, that of your home, that of your energy. So, yeah, um, someone is in the middle trying to sabotage your completion. And it could be that they're into freaky sex, but they don't want you to know. It could be that they're going to come forward and they're going to try to act all like whatever. And they're really this other persona. They want your honeymoon phase. They're in competition for your new cycle. Um, they're being divorced out of your, they're being divorced out of your, um, out of your life. Um, they're not able to heal their heart. They want the honeymoon phase. Maybe this is, maybe this, maybe this is um, a marriage and it's over. Maybe it's completed. It's on. It's gone on. Maybe there's, um, there's a divorce here. Somebody wants a honeymoon phase and they're in competition and somebody wants a divorce. There's someone who likes, who's into freaky sex, who's trying to sabotage things, and they're hidden. They're not, they're not, they're not showing themselves. Could be a third party. This person is not able to heal their heart. They're a liar. They were creating conflict, but you're getting victory over this situation and you're going to be getting a new beginning. And it could be that you're going to be meeting your soulmate. Yeah, this group of people that were doing some shady things against you, they were, um, they were not able to Wow. So they wanted, they wanted your heart broken. They wanted a divorce, but they also wanted to make sure that you didn't get the honeymoon. They wanted your honeymoon. They wanted to, you know, you're, you might be having a challenge gaining a divorce from somebody. Maybe you have new love. Maybe you recently, in the, in the recent past, met somebody and you found new love. Maybe that's what this no is for. Like maybe it wasn't the right time. Maybe there was too much heavy partying going on. One of you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, making difficult decisions. Traveling soon. <clears throat> You're all, it is what it is. It's going to go with the flow. Do, but they're going to be back. They're trying one more time. They want to be in your, they want to be in your space. They're low-key obsessed with you. They lost their opportunity. They're a narcissist. They wanted to, they wanted to get into your new beginning and interrupt your new beginning, but um, luck is on your side. This narcissist does not get blissful love. They don't get this honeymoon. They get a divorce. 
Balance is restored for a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got um, same-sex couples in the reverse, so I don't know how to read that. It could be that they're hiding. Their preferences. But that's an imbalance. And it says harmony and balance is being restored. So if they're trying to run away or hide who they are, or if they don't want to admit it, or they don't want people to know about it, or they're in denial, or they simply aren't into it. So there's some manifestation, somebody's having difficulties letting you go, they feel that if they have patience and get ready for a relationship, that they'll wind up with a date night with um, you, who they see as the star. <clears throat> Got shoot your shot and we've got friends are involved but it's reversed so um, it's nobody you know is involved with this somebody's obsessed this competition Somebody who's fighting, somebody who's fighting for you, somebody who's fighting for you, somebody who you want to divorce from, somebody who's unable to heal their heart, somebody who doesn't want you to heal your heart, somebody who wants to get you trapped in this low vibrational energy, they want to sabotage your new cycle, your new beginning. They're still here trying to create drama and trauma for you. Well, um, there's there's no children involved, or there's no new beginning for this. Children are not involved. Okay, so there might there is there's no children involved. So you've got to come, your cycle is completing, but there's somebody else who is into freaky sex and is trying to hide their into the freaky sex. They're trying to sabotage your, your new cycle, the, or they're trying to sabotage your closure so that they can steal your new beginning. Adrift, not willing to settle down or be responsible. Time to commit and put down roots. Yeah, so completion. It could be that whoever this is, um, you wanted a honeymoon and they wanted a divorce, right? They didn't want to. They didn't want to marry you. So you have to end the relationship. They're not willing to settle down or. Time to commit and put down roots. 
there's a third party here who is this freaky sex person who is keeping this person from wanting to put down roots. And so you're like, okay, well, I'm done then. Because I want this honeymoon. But because there's somebody else involved here and you won't and you won't commit, then we're gonna get the divorce. And then feel your heart came out in reverse. So it could be that this person who's you, you who are ending this cycle, it could be that you've already healed your heart. You've already thought long and hard about this. Grieving. It didn't work out the way you imagined. Feel the loss so you can rebuild your dreams. So, yeah, it. you didn't get the honeymoon. You didn't get the honeymoon. You're going to have to go heal your heart, and then, or maybe you're going to have difficulty healing your heart. Like, maybe you're having a really seriously emotional hard time with this breakup. Grieving. You're grieving it. You're challenged by this by this third party situation. This liar who's coming in and creating conflict. You're gonna get public recognition, you're gonna gain a victory over this, and you're gonna get new beginnings. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna wind up with a soulmate. <clears throat> or maybe this is who you you're hoping will will come forward for you as a soulmate. Like you've lost, you feel like you have been abandoned, but there is a deeper connection coming. Yeah, you've got a soulmate um, connection coming, and many flames. It can take many tries to find the right one. Take a break when you need to and don't give up. So many flames came out in the reverse. So this to me says that, um, you know, you're on the, you're on the brink of, of this soulmate connection. There's a deeper connection coming. You've got new beginnings, innocent beginnings, you know, pleasurable, optimistic full of possibilities beginnings and whoever this person is could be in the public eye but you're going to gain a victory over this situation this third party you know he's you know broke your heart so yeah there was this negative party situation going on, somebody doing a lot of partying, and um, it wasn't time for a connection with that one. It could be, oh, yeah, it could be that this one who's partying all the time it could be that this one said, it's not time for us. We, we, we're not going to be together. I, I love this other person. It could be that um, you, he confessed to you that he met somebody else. He doesn't want to put down roots with you. He could have confessed even that they were into to freaky sex. Or maybe he didn't confess it, but he alluded to it. You picked it up. You knew it. So he could have confessed that. His intention was to be traveling. His intention was to um, avoid some kind of deadlock. And 
And you're like, it is what it is. <clears throat> reaching. You're trying to connect. So, so there is no, there no there's no reaching. There's no reaching for you. There's no reaching for this person. There's some difficult decisions that have been made. You're like, it is what it is, you know, and reaching came out in reverse. You're not reaching for this person. You're like, you're totally releasing this person. You know, what you have built is crumbling. It's falling apart, but it's okay. You have the strength to build a new and leaving, you've taken it as far as it can go this time around. Walking away is the best thing you can do. But they're going to come back. They're going to try one more time with you. I mean, it could be that this situation doesn't work out and they get, you know, desperate to have somebody they could be low-key obsessed with you or it could be that they're just an obsessive person and they have to keep you on the on the, the chain just in case you know they need something they're guilty their guilt, there's lying or cheating going on, maybe both. It may take a confrontation to come clean. Yeah, they're they're gonna wanna try to come to they're gonna they're gonna wanna come clean, but they're guilty of cheating. They're gonna try to come back, but they're obsessed with this freaky sex thing. And um yeah, they can't let this freaky sex go. They're gonna continue doing that. You have a soulmate out here waiting for you. They lost their opportunity. It's not a blissful love. He, they're a narcissist, and they wanted to. Um, it, it could be that you. It could be that you're pregnant, because it says pregnancy. Somebody's expecting, so it could be that you're pregnant. Or it could be that this um, narcissist got this other, got someone else pregnant. Maybe that's why there's this divorce. So he got somebody else pregnant and he's saying, oh, it's my new love, you know, and we're going to go travel and stuff, you know. That could be why there's this heartbreak. Maybe they're pregnant. But this says luck is on your side. They're really full of themselves. And the fact is, is that they're empty. It could, you know, the truth is that you simply don't feel fulfilled. It's worth the wait to find true happiness. Yeah, you feel empty when you're with this person. It's because they're a narcissist. This isn't a blissful love. It's a bad investment. So you could be pregnant. You might be pregnant. But, um, but this says luck is on your side. So if you're pregnant, luck is on your side. If he got this other pre person pregnant, luck is on your side. The truth is you simply don't feel fulfilled. So you just cut this person out. Even if you are pregnant, um, you don't feel fulfilled. This is a narcissist who doesn't love you, he loves, you know, he loves the idea of you loving him. But balance is going to be restored. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, somebody who isn't involved in same-sex same -sex marriages or somebody who doesn't want anybody to know. Somebody who's been hiding it. Somebody who isn't involved in that.
moderation, so alone. So it could be that they're not with anybody at the moment, like they don't have a partner at the moment. And maybe this is how they get rebalanced by taking a step back and um, by being alone for a while, you know, resting in your own space. You feel like you're in this situation all by yourself, but it won't be like this forever. There's something being manifested now, great willpower. They got to let you go. If you exercise patience, ready for a relationship. So you're, you're ready for a new relationship. Patience is necessary. Magician. It could be that you're manifesting one. Could be that you're having difficulty letting this other thing go. So you need to exercise patience even though you're ready for another relationship. We got escape, but it came out in reverse. And it says, love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you are getting involved for the right reasons. So love is not an emotional escape for you. It's not an emotional escape. Love is the real deal for you. You don't want these games. You want your soulmate. <clears throat> You're the star. So, you got a date night coming up. Get ready to be wine and dine. Somebody's going to shoot their shot. And there's no friends involved. Or they don't want you to know that there's friends involved. It could be that their friends somehow found you or something. But this is tangled. So... You're unable to free yourself from a sticky situation. Taking a step back helps you see clearly. And that's this patience thing. Broken. They didn't keep the promises they made. They may break your heart, but not your spirit. Yeah. Yeah, you're pregnant. It looks like uh, maybe in the central energy here, it looks like maybe, because this is the lens everybody's looking through, so it looks like maybe you told him you were pregnant, and he told you about someone else, and that he wasn't willing to settle down or be responsible. You wanted a honeymoon, but he wanted to separate, and now you're grieving, you're having difficulty, your heart, your heart, you're having difficulty healing your heart, you're extremely challenged by this. There's evidence of what he did here with somebody else. He's a liar, he's been creating conflict. <clears throat> um, he wasn't he wasn't ready for um, he wasn't ready for this he wasn't expecting it the schedule so time yeah he wasn't expecting you to be late he wasn't expecting you to be late meaning you know like um you missed your period. You thought you were soulmates, but you're gaining a victory over this. You will get new beginnings. This is an innocent, you know, new beginning. You feel like you've been abandoned, but there's a deeper connection coming. Very soon. It won't take you long to find this person. Huh. 
Well, this person, he doesn't, he doesn't win. He doesn't, he doesn't gain a victory over you, over this at all. It, it could be, it could be that he's worried about becoming homeless. Like he has to pay for a child now. So he was overindulging and heavily partying. And he was like, no, that is not the right time for me. He could, he could have told you that he loved somebody else, but it was all about this undercover freaky sex stuff. He's full of pride. Um, it could be that that you protested this. You know, it could be that you have um, a family that's protesting this, and there's not. And this isn't a calm period at all. Everybody's emotions are all up in there. There's a fire sign involved, and that makes sense why there's no calm. Everybody's protesting. This is fiery situation for sure. There's evidence of what he did. But you've taken it as far as you can. This is just crumbling, but you got what you got the strength to, to build it again, and you're like, it is what it is. You know, you're making difficult decisions. You decided you're not going to reach out to this person. You're done. You're separating. You're divorcing. They ran out of luck. They've been doing some prayers, or maybe you've been doing some prayers about this, and you decided you're not going to reach out. You've been praying a lot about this, and you're like, it's all this frustration, you know, all this turmoil. You feel like you just have to survive, you know, and there's this huge risk that you're taking by separating yourself from this. It could be very frustrating. It could be very frustrating. You know, the this isn't a real lucky situation, but they're not lucky. They're full of pride. This isn't a lucky situation for them. You were expecting eternal love. And it still could be that you're going to get it. Um, because you got the soulmates. You got, you know, real soon... A deeper connection coming. Date night for the star. But you just need to un extract yourself from this. This guy is obsessed. He's 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 got an obsession. He's guilty um, for lying and for cheating. He's not going to come clean about it unless you confront him. And even then, he's, he, he may not come clean about it. He's got a fear of change, a fear of loss. He doesn't want to... Like, you may, you're living together, most likely. And he doesn't want to leave, you know, because he's got a place to live. And he's got meals. And he's got, you know, a bed and all this. And you're there. But he wants all this, too. So, he's going to be coming back, and he's going to try to get back in your energy. Yeah, he's trying to get out of... Um, like imagination, variety, fantasy, mind. So, like, it could be that he has no imagination, that he's 
he literally it could be that he literally thinks with his penis you know and that he has no imagination it could be that he has no real interest in making friends he wants to he wants to get out of this confinement or he doesn't want to be confined this divorce um you know, and the pregnancy, it could be if he doesn't, it could be that he's worried about going to jail. <gasps> he's worried about going to jail. He lost his opportunity, missed his chance. He made a bad investment. It wasn't a blissful love. He's a narcissist who did not feel fulfilled in this relationship. And he had a third wheel. And either you or this third wheel is pregnant. Either you or this third wheel is pregnant. But this says uh, luck is on your side, um, whichever way that goes. So balance is being restored for an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who um, is not in a same-sex relationship, who is all alone, or they feel like they're all alone. But it's not going to be like this forever. It could be that um, they are... They're tired of being stressed out. Somebody's really stressed out about this. They don't want to be stressed out. They're trying, they're not showing the world that they're stressed out. And it could feel like maybe there's under a curse, like maybe they're, um, Maybe a curse backfired. Um, which could just be like hatred or catastrophe or misfortune. And it came out in the reverse. So maybe, um, yeah, balance is restored. Catastrophe is averted. Stress is averted. You feel like you're in this situation all by yourself, but it's being rebalanced. It's a very fortunate situation. What is that? Um, rejection is protection. Rejection is protection. So we got manifestation, power, willpower. Somebody's having difficulty letting something go or letting somebody go. And it could be you. You may be having difficulty letting this person go. You know, narcissistic relationships are very um, emotionally and energetically tethering. Because it's a, it's a feast it's a feast for the narcissist who drums up um, specific scenarios. It's fortunate. This curse, it's, it, the catastrophe was averted. It's, it's, it, it is not a misfortune. All this stress, it's, you know, you, um, it's, it's going to go away. Balance is going to be restored. You have patience. You're having trouble letting it go, but have patience. Good things come to those who wait. You're ready and open for a new relationship. You don't use love as an escape mechanism. You don't cave easy to temptation. 
like some people do. You're the star. So get ready to be wined and dined. Date night is coming up. Somebody's going to come in there and shoot their shot with you. <clears throat> and um, it could be that somebody doesn't want you to know that friends are involved. But you're unable to free yourself from this sticky situation. With this pregnancy, I don't know if it's you that is pregnant. But it could be that it's causing some situations. If it is you, like... Because that's kind of binding, you know, with this masculine. Um, and even if it is this other person, that could cause some issues in a divorce. Like, um, he could be fighting, you know, alimony or whatever. But there's evidence of what he did. He, yeah, he's, he's in trouble. But you're having trouble... Um, getting yourself away from this situation. So you need to step back. Step back from it. Um, consider it a gift. You know, this, this fact that you're out of there. I mean, rejection is protection. Sometimes that is the greatest gift, you know. And, and relationships with the narcissist is so hard to extract ourselves from that because they really do intertwine themselves with us energetically uh, in a lot of ways. So um, somebody is going to be receiving a financial loss. They're going to be um, in poverty. He's going to be... You know, he, it, things are about to get serious. Things are about to get very serious. Like, he, he got somebody pregnant, whether it is you or whether it is this other person. I don't think it's you because we have, we have either a honeymoon or a divorce. So I don't know. You know, there's a commitment here. And you're, and you're having difficulty extracting yourself from this. And so, and you're having difficulty letting it go, and you got a date night right here. Somebody's shooting their shot. But they didn't keep the promises they made. They may break your heart, but not your spirit. And this says children are involved, and that's in the reverse. So that could suggest that it isn't you that's pregnant. It could suggest that it's the third wheel that is pregnant. And this is luck on your side. It's a gift. <laughs> it's protection. But, um, yeah, somebody's not going to be able to go get a place to live. Uh, they're in poverty. over this commitment. All right, well, I hope that helps. Have a great night, everybody.